there everyone, welcome back to another video about Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, I'm going to be giving you another deck profile today, I hope you're excited, but first I want to flag, if you are not aware, we are having a huge Star Wars Unlimited official tournament in Manchester at the end of August, August 31st to September 1st. Uh, I will put all the links in the description, I will be casting, it would be wonderful to see as many of you there as possible. Uh, we are hoping to cap out, I think it is 400 players, uh, so that would be amazing to see as many of you there as possible. Um, and yeah, please do check it out and support uh, OPE, who are doing a great job organizing as many Star Wars Unlimited events as possible. And of course, it'd be wonderful to see you all there, as I will be casting. But let's go ahead and get into this. So for those of you who've seen my Kylo deck profile, of course, jo Jotaro had to uh, be the other half here. Um, I'm, just, I'm just flexing my deck box. Um, and we are going to be talking about uh, another one of my personal favorite decks from this set. And that is Ray, as I'm sure you knew uh, from the video title. So this is going to be Ray Red. And Ray is a really cool leader who is basically sitting there and making uh, a lot of your um, a lot of your cards more powerful, a lot of them a lot more viable, uh, just sitting there buffing stats up and making uh, making things go burr, essentially. Um, super, super fun leader. Uh, very, very powerful, I think, as well. There's a lot of game. Um, and I think that it obviously has a couple of bad matchups, but it's one I've been enjoying playing tremendously. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, we are playing Tarkin Town just to um, be able to stabilize, uh, build our board, our board, our board. Stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to start off with our one drops. And uh, I want to I want to start off with just the best card. I'm so, like, honestly, the biggest reason I really enjoy playing Ray, and that is Moisture Farmer. Um, we get to play, unironically, a Moisture Farmer here, and it is hilarious. Um, genuinely, the most fun I've had is having this giga beefed up Moisture Farmer, a 3-7 restore 2 unit that the opponent just cannot deal with. Um, this is Aggro's absolute worst nightmare. Super, super strong card, um, in Ray in particular, obviously terrible outside of Ray. Um, but yeah, like really, really funny, highly recommend uh, you play this. Uh, another really strong one drop here is going to be R2-D2. Um, so if you get either Moisture Farmer or R2 turn one, you are a very, very happy bunny, um, as these are going to get very, very big, very, very fast. Moisture Farmer will be a 1-5 on turn one, R2 will be a 2-5 on turn one, and you are going to be uh, looking at the top card of your deck and basically just being able to ditch all the cards you don't want. I think this is a very, very powerful ability. You shouldn't sleep on it. Um, and yeah, I think this forms a suite of really, really powerful one drops. Uh, another powerful one drop is Force Throw. And we're playing three copies of Force Throw. Um, Ray, uh, so we do play Forces in this deck, but uh, Ray is also a Force unit, and this is a really powerful play um, to make your opponent discard and then deal damage, and then you can snipe down whatever they um, whatever they uh, deal the damage to with um, with a Tarkin Town. Um, uh, sorry, you deal the damage, and then you can snipe it down with Tarkin Town. They discard, should be clear there. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it's just a very, very, very powerful card. Uh, one which I am thoroughly enjoying abusing in this deck. And I think, you know, super underrated. Uh, basically only saw play in Chirrut and like a little bit of Vader in set one, but a lot more viable now. And uh, Ray, I think, really, really a uh, very popular deck. So we're going to see a lot of it. All right, next we've got three copies of Restored Arc 170. This is a 2-3 with Restore 1, which of course can become a 3-4 with Restore 1, which is very, very beefy, very, very powerful. Um, and just all around very, very solid. Um, yeah, just a great card to stabilize against these more aggressive decks. Uh, and then of course we've got all reliable green squadron a ring. Um, we need to have three of this card. Uh, it's just a premier ship, which you can make so big. So as silly as this ship is in Sabine, um, this is a ship that can be a three, five in Ray, like very, very easily, uh, which is just so, so dumb. Uh, it's a three, five that swings for five, just, um, just a powerhouse of a card to be honest. All right, onto the three drops, and we have got Yoda. Uh, this card is another really powerful one that, um, in the context of Ray, just becomes so strong. It is force traded, so we can get force throws online. It's a 2 4, but it becomes a 3 5 uh, post buff with restore 2 uh, and a when defeated to draw. So just a very versatile card, very, very powerful. Um, this deck doesn't play a lot of the upgrades that you could, but you could be playing a load of these like lightsabers just to start slinging around onto like Yoda and R2 and Moisture Farmer and whatever have you. Um, but yeah, this is just a very, very powerful card uh, when you're able to get those uh, buffs onto it. 
All right. Uh, two copies of Cassian. Um, this is largely going to be in your resource row and come out as a finisher um, late game when you're just a little bit of damage away. But it is just a 3-5, and um, that is never bad. Uh, then we have also got one, two, three Concord Dawn Interceptors. So this is a 1-4, which is honestly slightly terrible, but um, in the context of Ray is just a lot better because you can buff it up to be a 3-6, which gains to attack while defending. So it's a 5-6 on defense. So if you just sit there and buff this up, you can essentially lock down space. Um, frankly, this card locks down space a lot unbuffed. And even with one buff, that'll pretty much do the trick. Uh, but you don't you don't even need to do that a lot of the time. But it is an option uh, against these like really heavy space decks. Um, it is going to let you do some absolute nonsense there. Uh, and then, you know, we're not done dealing with aggro here. So we are playing three village protectors. This is a 2-2 two, two Sentinel that comes in shielded, which of course you can make a 3-3. Three, three. Um, but honestly, I, I think a lot of the time the 2-2 uh, the two, two will get you there. Um, and just a super, super powerful card. Uh, really helps you slow down those aggro decks and uh, um, ease the pressure up on yourself. Uh, finally, in the three dots, just got a couple copies of Open Fire here. Um, just, I'm not I'm not just playing them because they're hyper before. Um, that's part of the reason why. Uh, but like, this is just a very powerful card. Um, being able to just uh, smack four damage into a unit um, is removing most three drops in the game. Um, and it's just going to... Plus Tarkin Town, you're killing a seven HP unit. And it's just really, really versatile. Um, really good removal. Uh, and it's just, again, letting you stabilize, letting you get to, the, get to that late game um, where you are going to start slapping down like the most ridiculous stuff. Uh, for four drops, uh, not much. We've got uh, four copies... Uh, sorry, three copies of Canon Jarrus. So this is uh, an interesting one. Uh, this is a four five. Um, so, unfortunately, very takedownable. Um, wish it was a 4-6. Uh, but anyway, um, which is force traded uh, with an odd attack to mill and then uh, heal for each just different aspect among the discarded cards. So, usually this is going to be the only Spectre. Um, but it is really nice that this is a set, this can be basically like a heal 1 or heal 2 um, on attack. Uh, it can really help you stabilize. Uh, it's frankly um, a card I'm very much considering cutting. It's not amazing, um, but it is good. Uh, you can't buff it, but uh, it, it does act as like sort of a, a lightning rod, like, oh, I need to deal with this card because otherwise I'm going to start getting force thrown, and I don't really want that. So just increasing the consistency of our force units, which is quite important. So we've got a force unit on uh, three, and we've got a force unit on four. Uh, no force unit on two, sadly, though. Uh, then we've also got a couple copies of the forces with me. So this is a card you will have seen if you've played against Chirrut, or if you have played Chirrut, but if you haven't, uh, you choose a friendly unit, give it to experiences, and if you control a force, give a shield token, and then attack with the chosen unit. So uh, doing this on Ray is just absolutely ridiculous, right? Like Ray deploys as a 2-6, you make this a 4-8 shielded, and then you swing with it. Um, just so, so strong. Um, obviously, if you can swing with Ray once first, you can make her a 5-9 um, after she's, uh, like if you do this turn after she deploys, but um, even if you're doing this on a Yoda or a Cannon, right? Like if you do this on Cannon, suddenly it's a 6-7. Shielded, that's very scary. So this is a powerful card. Uh, again, with Yoda, like on curve, can just be really, really good. Uh, then we have got one copy of Takedown and one copy of Fell the Dragon. Um, this is just to have a diverse uh, little set of removal here um, to hit different things. Uh, and I put this in the wrong order, but there's also a disabled Fang Fighter in here just to hit upgrades. Um, just a little one of uh, just to add to the basically like the removal suite. Um, there's more copies in the sideboard, but uh, sometimes, but I wanted to have just one in the main deck. Uh, okay, on to potentially the most annoying card in the deck, Triple Pillage. This card is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so you <laughs> make your opponent discard two. Um, if you guys do the maths, right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk it through, walk you through it, right. So turn one, you have four in hand. Turn two, you draw two, and so you play one card. You go down to three. Turn two. Draw two, you're up to five. Resource one, you're down to four. Play one, you're down to three. Okay. Uh, turn th turn three. Draw two, you're up to five. Resource one, you're down to four. Play one or two, you're down to like one or two. Um, and I think it's very common for your opponent to have played like one extra card a little bit like in there, right? So a lot of the time on curve, this just wipes your opponent's hand out and they're reduced to top decking. At any stage in the game, if you're reducing your opponent to top decking, uh, particularly in the early game, that is really, really rough. Um, this can be such a game swing. It can take out key tools your opponent was holding to just like answer, um, just answer your leader uh, or answer like particular threats. 
uh, the pillage is just so strong. Like, so, so, so strong. Um, and then, of course, if you pillage into Force Throw to discard the last card in their hand, then they are, like, absolutely rinsed, right? Um, yeah, just a really, really, really powerful card. Uh, another two-drop I'm playing here, another four-drop I'm playing is Nima Outpost Constables. This is a 2-6, which we can buff to a 3-7 with Sentinel. It's just big. It's just, again, stalling time, uh, buying you that time against aggro, letting you hit your late-game options, which I promise we're coming to. Uh, one copy of Rivals Fall in the main as well, and this forms part of the uh, the little suite of removal stuff here. There, there is more of it, uh, I promise. Okay, so I've filled up too much of the play mat now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to overlap slightly um, as we just finish off with our top end. And this is really what uh, we are looking forward to getting out here. So three copies. The reason we're doing this, three copies of Kylo Ren. So this is a six seven. Um, with an on attack to buff uh, a unit by plus two, and if it's non uh, a villainy, also give an experience token to it. So, six seven is very big. If this sticks, um, your opponent is scared. Uh, like, this comes down, and your opponent's like, shit, I need to answer that, like, ASAP. Uh, being six attack, it is out of range of a lot of the uh, of cunning, which is relevant into those double yellow decks. Um, but it is just a very, very scary card to deal with, and it kind of forces an immediate answer. Uh, force traded for what that's worth, and, um, I mean, come on, guys, we're playing Ray here, like, we've got to play it, uh, we've got to play three copies of Luke, right, as our seven drop, has to be done, um, six, seven, restore three, when played, basically nuke down anything, um, just an outrageously powerful card, uh, absolutely every bit as good as Vader, um, yeah, just crazy, and then finally, uh, to finish off the list, we've got two copies of Redemption, this is a six, nine Sentinel, where you can just heal eight, uh, up to eight from your base so this is the ultimate stabilizer right like this is this basically says don't worry i'm making it to late game I, 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 i'm at late game you're not eking me out with that last little bit of damage you need and uh i'm gonna take the game from here um it's big it's really big as well um so yeah that is the list uh this deck is really fun i really really recommend it um if you want to have a great time in the new format um i think you'll see a lot of them at the uh event in manchester which i will hopefully see you all at um and yeah i think this is uh, got a lot of game really fun deck really fun list and i'd recommend giving it a go of course tune it to your liking i think most of this is pretty standard um but there are a couple of bits i've done with like the removal suite and stuff where it's just like oh yeah you know try a little bit of everything see what works for you it's going to be dependent on your local meta but there we go that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh thank you very much to my patrons who are seeing this early you can check out my patreon linked in the description uh please do check out the links in the description as well for the event in manchester would love to see as many of you there as possible uh like subscribe all that usual stuff let me know what you think in the comment section down below any changes you would make your experiences with the list if you've played it and i hope to see you guys in the next video cheers Thank you.